Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on wound dehiscence. Wound dehiscence is where a wound fails to heal, often reopening a few days after surgery. Most commonly seen in abdominal surgery. There are two types, superficial and full thickness dehiscence. In superficial dehiscence, the skin wound alone fails, with the rectus sheath remaining intact. Whereas in full thickness dehiscence, the rectus sheath fails to heal and bursts, with protrusion of abdominal content. This is a diagram showing a partial dehiscence on top, where the rectus sheath is intact, and a full thickness dehiscence below. The most common cause of wound dehiscence is infection. Risk factors can be divided into patient, intraoperative, and postoperative factors. The patient factors are increasing age, male gender, comorbidities, especially diabetes mellitus, steroids, smoking, obesity or malnutrition, whereas the intraoperative factors include emergency surgery, abdominal surgery, length of operation more than 6 hours, wound infection, or poor surgical technique. The postoperative factors are prolonged ventilation, postoperative blood transfusion, poor tissue perfusion, for example in postoperative hypotension, excessive patient coughing, and radiotherapy. The most evident feature of wound dehiscence is the visible opening of the wound, healing poorly following the operation. A classic sign of deep or full thickness dehiscence is new bulging of the wound and seepage of pink serous or blood-stained fluid from the wound. The diagnosis of wound dehiscence is clinical. For cases with concurrent surgical site infection, wound swabs should be taken for culture at the wound site. For management, Superficial dehiscence usually just requires washing out the wound with saline, and then simple wound care, such as packing the wound with absorbent ribbon gauze. The patient should be advised that the wound will now be required to heal by secondary intention, and that this can take several weeks. More extensive wounds may be treated with a vacuum-assisted closure device to speed healing. Whereas for full thickness dehiscence, provide suitable analgesia and start broad-spectrum intravenous antibiotics. Cover the wound in saline-soaked gauze and arrange urgent return to theater for reclosure of the wound. For the majority of patients, closure is usually done in theaters with large interrupted sutures, avoiding excessive tension. In small number of cases, closure is inappropriate or unsafe. Examples are gross abdominal sepsis or necrotizing fasciitis of abdominal wall. These cases can be managed as an open abdomen or using a bridging mesh for prevention of wound dehiscence. Optimize comorbidities and treating any surgical site infections. Avoiding heavy lifting and encourage adequate postoperative nutrition. That's all for this video. Thank you.